The best thing about ICT isn't what it does, it is what you can do with it. It is a tool so flexible, so versatile, it can be applied almost to any task in any sector. It can draw on a range of concepts and models as plentiful and diverse as the community it serves. ICT does that best when we are open, when we use it to share and collaborate. In the words of Tim Berners-Lee, if you put data onto the web, it will be used by other people to do wonderful things in ways you never would have imagined. And he should know he invented the internet. And that is why I'm pushing for legal chances to open up Europe's public sector and will shortly present proposals on open access to scientific research results. Because greater openness can speed up scientific progress, reduce duplication and cut costs, an overall economic impact as much as 1.8 billion euros across the EU. ICT can help the world of education too. It can bring learning to life, so education is at once enlightening and entertaining. And it can respond and adapt to user needs, because education doesn't have to be off the pack, it can be made to measure. But when it comes to ICT and education, progress has so far been limited. Even today, when digital technology has transformed nearly every aspect of our world, the classroom still mostly looks like it did 50 years ago. I find that frustrating. We need to overcome obstacles like lack of awareness or lack of funding. We need teachers willing to embrace new technology and embrace the future. And most of all, we need to be open, because then we can get people creating and sharing their ideas, collaborating to develop content and then adapting it to suit individual needs. And that is why, of the 50 million euros the EU puts each year into research in ICT for learning, we invest 8 to 10 million on the infrastructure needed for educational content, on standards and on speci specifications. There is already rich educational content out there. Projects like our new open discovery space, starting in April, will mean we can share and reuse it more and help schools find new ways to teach and learn. And I'm well aware of the constraints, legal and otherwise, that come into play when we try to share knowledge. But I'm determined to push for a culture of openness. Bottom-up initiatives like open educational resources and open courseware are vital for this. So I wish you every success.